Hi, I'm Mary Rogers. I'm here today to show you how to get the best tasting espresso from your new espresso maker. It's so easy, you'll find that you'll feel like a professional barista. It's stylishly designed, made of high-grade stainless steel, and you will use it every day to make both hot and cold espresso-based drinks. Let's begin by reviewing all the parts of your espresso maker. This is your removable 64-ounce water reservoir and lid, cup warming plate, power button, manual button, one cup button, two cup button, program button, steam button, port a filter holder with handle, brew head, steam or hot water control dial, commercial steam wand, removable drip tray, cleaning pins, stainless steel frothing pitcher, measuring scoop and tamping tool, and your filter baskets for one cup, two cup, and pod. I can't wait to taste my favorite drink, cappuccino. So let's get started by putting your espresso maker together. This is your housing. It features a warming tray right on top so that you can preheat your cups. First, make sure that the steam and hot water control dial is off. Before you use your machine for the first time, it's important to rinse it thoroughly. Let me show you how to do it. Plug it in and rinse it by pressing the power button once to turn it on. See how the light around the button illuminates? You will notice that the manual one and two cup buttons will flash while your machine is heating up. Now, place the drip tray and grate onto the machine. Fill the water reservoir with cold, fresh water by holding it by the integrated handle and removing it from the base. Place it back on the base. Take the portafilter filter holder by the handle and drop any one of the filter baskets into it. Secure the portafilter filter handle to the brew head by lining up the handle with the arrow. Push up and turn it to the right to lock it into place. Place a container under both pouring spouts. Press the manual button and the water will run through. Do this for 5 to 10 seconds. Now you're ready to make your coffee. There are three different filter holders you can use to make your espresso. The one cup filter basket is for single one and a half ounce servings. The two cup filter basket is for a double or a three ounce serving. Use the pod filter basket for a single serving espresso pod. Depending on the filter basket you choose, the amount of coffee you use will vary. It's really easy to remember. For one cup, it's one scoop. For two cups, it's two scoops of ground coffee. Now choose the filter you plan to use and drop it into the port of filter holder with handle. Take the scoop with tamping tool in your hand. Use it to scoop up the espresso coffee. Make sure that your coffee is espresso grind. This is the only type of ground coffee you should use with this machine. Place the scoop of coffee into the filter basket. Tamp it down with medium pressure. Remember, do not press too hard because if you pack it down too tightly, it won't allow the water to go through when you go to brew your espresso. You need to fill the filter basket to the very rim. Make sure there are no grounds on the rim so that the port of filter seats properly onto the brew head. Secure the port of filter holder with handle onto the brew head, as we've showed you before. Check to make sure your espresso maker is ready to use. The power light will be on and the manual one and two cup buttons will be lit and not blinking. To use the pods, it couldn't be simpler. Just place the pod into the pod filter basket and mount the port of filter holder onto the brew head and press the one cup button. You can also program your espresso maker so that you can choose exactly how much coffee you want to brew. Press the program button. The light around the button will show a constant blue light. Press either the one cup or two cup button depending on which one you wish to program. The light around that button will flash. Allow the espresso to brew until you reach the desired level. Once that is reached, stop the espresso pour by pressing the serving button that you chose. A beep will signify that the new setting has been programmed and stored into the machine's memory. You can also use the manual feature to dispense exactly the amount of coffee that you want. Press the manual button once. When you get the desired amount of coffee that you want, 
press it again so it stops. To reset the original factory settings of your espresso maker, just press the program button once. Now, press and hold down the manual and the program button at the same time for approximately three seconds. You will hear two beeps and the lights around the one and two cup buttons will flash. After that, they will become solid and you will know that you have reset the factory settings to the original. Your espresso maker is capable of making hot water for tea and other drinks. Just put a heat proof cup under the steam control nozzle. Turn the steam hot water knob halfway between O and steam to dispense water. When you have the water you need, turn the knob back to O and the machine will stop. Texturing the milk for cappuccino is easy. Pour your milk into the chilled frothing pitcher. Don't fill the pitcher more than halfway full because the milk will expand when you froth it. Press the steam button. It will flash while it is warming up. When it stops, you are ready to froth. Turn the steam control dial to steam while holding the pitcher beneath it. I like to circle around the outer portion of the pitcher to fully warm the milk before I start texturing it. By doing this, you'll be sure that your milk is completely heated prior to texturing. Now, hold the steam wand by the rubber handle. Swirl it around the pitcher. Slowly lower the pitcher, keeping the wand just below the surface of the milk to get the best texturing results. Turn the steam function off by turning the knob to the center position. Be sure to immediately wipe the steam nozzle and wand with a clean dab cloth, otherwise it will be very difficult to clean after it dries. Then always purge a small amount of steam to clear out any remaining milk. This steam wand is very efficient. It won't take much practice to get it right. Now some cleaning tips. Clean the housing and the brew head with a damp cloth. Be sure to remove all the coffee particles. Periodically run water through the machine with the porta filter holder in place to rinse it out. Also periodically remove the drip tray to clean. The drip tray, grate, porta filter holder, and baskets should all be washed in warm soapy water and rinsed thoroughly. Now I'm going to show you how to make several different drinks. Here's how to make a cappuccino or macchiato. First, we're going to brew an espresso. Take one scoop of ground espresso and place it in the filter basket. Tamp it down. Then mount the filter basket onto the brew head. Press the single serve espresso button. After the espresso brews, the machine will automatically stop. By the way, a creamy and luscious looking top is the mark of a well-made espresso. This is what the Italians call crema. Now, to finish your cappuccino or macchiato, next, you need to froth one quarter cup of skimmed milk. For a macchiato, using a large spoon, place one tablespoon of the froth milk on the top of the espresso. For a cappuccino, top your espresso with two to three tablespoons of frothed milk. Now let me show you how to make a latte. Start with a brewed espresso, then, Steam one half cup of skim milk. Slowly pour the steamed milk into the cup, filling it halfway. If you like, top it with froth. Your espresso maker allows you to also make delicious frozen coffee drinks. Here's how to make a frozen mocha. First, brew an espresso. Add one teaspoon of sugar and stir. Pour the espresso and two tablespoons of milk into a blender. Start the motor. Drop in three ice cubes and blend it until the mixture is smooth. I hope this has given you lots of great ideas on making espresso, cappuccino, mochas, and all the other wonderful drinks that this machine can do for you. Just remember to refer to your instruction booklet to make sure you are operating it properly. You also will find great coffee recipes in there. I'm Mary Rogers from Cuisinart. I hope you really enjoy your new espresso maker.